Hey, I'm Tyler Lynch, a Principal Solutions Architect, and I'm going to be talking to Dave about networking as code using infrastructure as code tooling such as Terraform, CDK, and CloudFormation. Dave, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Dave Dorico. I'm a specialist technical account manager focused on our networking services here at AWS. So often I get the question, we can do infrastructure automation for our servers, containers. How do we do that for networking? It's like the last frontier for IAC. I know you've been dealing with this the last couple of years, what are some of the common patterns and maybe pitfalls you see our customers take on as they do networking as code? Well, I think one of the, the most common things is for network engineers, they may be a, you know, familiar with automation, you know, using existing frameworks that they may have applied already, but taking that and applying that to the cloud is sometimes new for them, you know, it's because you're no longer operating in a CLI based environment, you no longer have, you know, appliances that are sheet metal, you know, you're st sticking in a rack somewhere. So now you actually have to think about, well, what does this all mean? How do I define this? How do I, what is my intention here? And then how do I apply that into infrastructure as code? So really think about the granularity and the boundaries of each thing yep. before you go build. It's, a, it's that, and then there's also, I mean, even if you're coming from purely a traditional networking background, even just making sure that you understand the concepts and how they apply from the cloud, you know, from on-prem into the cloud, I guess what I mean to say more specifically, but making that understanding and then understanding what are the things you can do? Um, and then how do you then go about applying that into infrastructure as code? There's a really important distinction. So operating the cloud is different from operating on-premises and understanding those analogs, such as security, private keys, VPNs, and yep. how they work. That's what we're here for as AWS employees to help you do that. And as you work through the IAC, which IAC tool, infrastructure as code tool, do you see most networking teams gravitating to? Is there one or is it kind of all over the place depending on the team? I think it's kind of all over the place though, in my personal experience, I'm biased, right? Because I, so I, I do a lot of work with Terraform. Okay. That's So I see a lot more customers and the customers will come to me saying, oh, we're using Terraform, but typically they're not using it for networking, but they're using Terraform because that's their tool of choice for other things. Uh, but then they naturally have that bias towards Terraform as a result. So we kind of, it kind of gravitates into that direction a little bit. I love it. What are some of the common challenges you see our customers run into, whether it's Terraform, CDK, or anything else as they embark? So it's beyond just like the composition, what are the other challenges? Hmm. So beyond that, it's definitely, you know, understanding the, the tools themselves, understanding how they work, and then so for me, I have a lot of challenges around security and compliance. Sure. How do we do this securely? How do we meet our compliance goals? We're NIST, we're ISO, or we're SOC 2. And I know how to build the resources, but how do I make them secure? And how do I map that to my controls? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of times it's just getting familiar with it. I mean, it's there's there's no substitute for experience, right? So like at the end of the day, there's a lot of like great resources you can use. I know like I rely on like AWS samples a lot, even for myself when I'm spinning things up for the first time or if there's a new service that we're launching, go like check out the AWS samples and like see how that's laid out. Because a lot of times if we're putting something on AWS samples, like that's a great like guideline you can follow for a best practice or it'll explicitly call out, hey, this is a dev environment. You can do this in dev environment. Don't do it in prod, like that type of thing. And so for those of you who don't know, AWS Samples is a GitHub organization that AWS owns, and we publish samples there. We have other organizations such as AWS and AWS Labs, but the samples are succinct samples for a single discipline. I would also say Googling AWS space blog space the thing you want. Yep. And you would often find a single blog that has a single responsibility to teach you something. I do console first. I walk through the blogs. I understand the service and how they connect. And then I do infrastructure as code, whether it's CDK or Terraform. I learn the basics and then I apply those basics that I know about the service to my IAC. Yep. We, workshops are also a great way to do that. We have oh, a yeah. number of great workshops that have, in some cases, even templates that you can download and run within your own accounts. You know, not within like the, you know, within the constraint of an AWS event, but sometimes you can even do that in your own like personal account and run them that way. So you can, again, reference that template, walk through the workshop. Again, it's going to be console based, but you have that baseline to get started and then you can build on top of that. Not all workshops are console. -based. Not all. We actually have some Terraform workshops for networking. Mm -hmm. We also have some CloudFormation uh, workshops for networking. You can find those online, HTTPS workshops plural dot aws you'll find a lot of our workshops and the associated code is going to be on our github usually on aws samples yep. i'd be remiss we didn't talk about 
our Terraform modules and our CloudFormation modules that we have published as well yep. on GitHub organization AWS-IA, Infrastructure and Automation. We publish first party secure opinionated deployments of networking, VPN security. Yep. You'll see them even connecting multi-cloud. We've recently published one for connecting AWS to Azure to allow our friends to bring their data into AWS securely. Yep. How much time? All right, awesome. Great. Thank you, everybody.